program that brings to bear the new innovations that are being undertaken at the university. And today I am presenting to you Akokono, that is the African Palm Lavi, a collaboration between the Healthy Insects, the University of Energy and Natural Resources, and Anepari Fund. So this is what we're talking about. We have a food bazaar as part of the STEM program. And within the food bazaar, we are presenting larvae of the African palm larvae, I mean of the African palm weevil, also known as Akokono. And today, we have various products that are being presented. Why are we talking about insect consumption? Why are we talking about the palm larvae? We're not just saying this for the sake of it. We, there are nutritional facts that really shows why people should go in for these nutritious Lavi. Now, if I'm talking about the nutritional composition, if you take 100 grams of the dry weight, you have about 15.8 milligrams of zinc. You have about 30.8 milligrams of calcium. And in terms of iron, you have over 54 milligrams per 100 grams. And in terms of the protein content, you have about 66% of the lava being made of protein. And fat content of about 37. And you understand that iron deficiency anemia is one of the leading causes of maternal death in the developing world. The WHO says that two out of every five women in the developing world are anemic. You see, once women menstruate, they pass out iron. And when their consumption of iron is not commensurate to what is being consumed, it can ultimately lead to iron deficiency anemia. And we all know the repercussions of anemia. Children tend to have cognitive disabilities when it comes to the lack of iron. They lose concentration, they feel drowsy and easily pass out or sleep in class. That is the more reason why we are promoting the consumption of the palm lavi. And I think that the government can even use this to create jobs for people. I sell one kilogram for 50 Ghana cities and that is more than any meat product in the market. And why is it so expensive? It's because there is no I mean, competition for me. And the demand is so high, so we can create jobs with this. The planting for food and jobs or writing for food and jobs can, I mean, this actually fits into that model. If you look at the school feeding program, now that we are struggling to generate meat and protein for the school feeding program, we can go into this. We can use this as a supplement because it is proven to be nutritionally superior. So I will urge you all to visit us at the University of Energy and Natural Resources, the Healthy Insect Project, which is funded by Danida and implemented by us in conjunction with Anepari Farms, will be humbled to train you. And this is Akokuno to the world. Akokuno production or consumption has grown up due to a myriad of reasons. One, people never knew the nutritional composition. They only took it in the past knowing that or believing that it has some nutritional content but they didn't really know but we have been able to bring out the nutritional composition for people to really understand and appreciate and this is why many people are now going in for the lobby two looking around in the past the pan tapers were using uh, fire to tap the pan wine so it was readily available but recently pan wine tapers use chemicals like DDT, deltametrine and other pyrotrons in tapping the pan wine what they do is that they apply these chemicals at the incision of the palm tree where the pan wine comes out so as to drive away other insects the reason is that when the adult people goes to feed on the area of incision the palm tree gets rotten and that way it truncates the production of the palm wine so the palm wine tapers tend to use these chemicals. But we have been able to domesticate the production. And the activities of these palm wine tapers has made it very difficult to get the palm lobby. But ever since we started the domestication, Akokono is now readily available. And anybody can produce Akokono in the comfort of his or her home. And this has really brought about so much interest again in terms of the consumption. The process is so simple. You read and within 20, 20, 28 days, depending on the environmental conditions, your coconut is ready for consumption. So contact us and we'll readily train you.